Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and this is going to be a continuation of the iPhone 5 tips series, and in this particular video we're going to talk about iCloud. I get a lot of questions about using iCloud or not using it, and I thought I'd try and answer those here. So the first thing we need to do in order to get into our iCloud settings is go into settings. So find your settings icon, tap on it, and you'll see we have all these normal settings, but if we scroll down here or slide down, we have iCloud. Under iCloud, we have all sorts of options for your iCloud account. That's your account name. And you can see name, password, description, your different storage plans. I'm actually grandfathered in, so I have a 20 gigabyte plan. And then my email down at the bottom. Now you can see every one of these things on mine is turned on. That's because I use iCloud for every one of these things. What that means is iCloud will save my mail settings, my contacts, calendars, reminders, Safari, notes, passbook, photo stream documents and data, and find my iPhone. And what that means is if I have these turned on on my iPad, another iPhone, an iPod Touch, or an iPad Mini, or whatever we're using, as well as my Mac, they'll all sync. So if I enter a note, it will show up here, but when I go over to my Mac, I can go into notes and it shows up there on mountain line. So depending on how you're using this, it can come in really handy. Same for Safari. It will save my bookmarks, reminders. It will sync all of my reminders and so on and so forth. Photo stream is the same deal. If you have photo stream turned on, you can save up to a thousand photos and they give you about five gigabytes of storage for free and we can share photo streams or not use it at all. Now with Find My iPhone, this is something I recommend you turn on on all iPhones, iPads, or whatever you're using, because if you lose it or it gets stolen, you can go on to iCloud.com, and as long as it's online, or even if it's not in some cases, as long as it has a Wi-Fi connection or a GPS locating antenna in it, it will show you exactly where it is. You can actually remotely access it and wipe it as well. So if someone has it, you have sensitive data on there. As long as you have Find My iPhone on it, you can remotely wipe your device. There are a lot more options as well though, and that's down here in storage and backup. Now you can see that we could delete the account as well, but we want to go into our storage. You can see I have total storage of 25 gigabytes. I have 15 gigabytes available. I can manage it. I have iCloud backup turned on, which I use the backup. It backups, backs up every night or morning. In, in this case, it backed up yesterday morning at 5.13 a.m. So that's pretty handy. It backs up all of your settings. And one of the questions I get asked the most is, if I use the backup, will it restore all of my app data? And the answer to that is yes, it will. So if you have a bunch of saved games or things like that, if you let this manage all of it, you'll restore the settings and it'll be just like you left it. Now, if we go up here and manage storage, one of the other questions I get is, can I have more than one device on my iCloud account? And as you can see here, I have more than one device. I have my iPad, I have my iPhone, my wife's iPhone, and another iPad. One of them is an iPad mini. And each one of these is managed individually. So here's my iPad, and you can see it last backed up on 113 of 2013, and it's a 4.3 gigabyte backup. Same with the iPhone my wife's iPhone, and so on. Each one of these is also backing up, so Keynote, Pages. You can see these are all the different presentations or things I might have in here, and we can show all of those as well. So we have all the different applications that are backing up, so if you want to see specifically what's backing up, like Field Runners 2 HD, Doodle Jump, those sort of things, Games I Play or My Kids Play, and then my mail is being backed up. Now, if you need more storage or you want to upgrade or downgrade the storage, you can do that here with change storage plan. There's not really a whole lot of options here, but there's 20 gigabytes, 50 gigabytes, and downgrade options as well to free. I won't go into that now, but I think you get the idea there. So you do have a lot of different options with iCloud. Now, you don't have to use any of this at all. You can use your iPhone without it, but it really makes it very convenient for especially Find My iPhone, which I definitely recommend you turn on. Same with contacts or mail. If you lose your phone, your contacts will just be backed up with your backup. So just use the backup, if anything, and Find My iPhone. You don't have to, and it's completely up to you, but it's definitely convenient and it's free, so why not? 
Some of these options are turned off by default, such as photo stream. So you'll want to take a look at those settings for yourself. So that's pretty much it as far as iCloud goes. But if you have any questions regarding iCloud or maybe any suggestions for other people, please place those in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.